guys, welcome back to Project Tube. Today we're gonna do some casting. It's a cold day out, great day to start the foundry up and cast some brass. What I have here is a, a model that I printed out recently that I really just love. It's the Bearded Yell. You can get it off Thingiverse. I'll leave the link in the description below. And what it is, is kind of this dwarf uh, Viking guy. He's all bearded and he's just letting out this battle cry. It's just a really cool model. And props to the guy that designed it. I don't know who it is, but you can check out the Thingiverse link. Anyways, I printed this out in K Camel Carbon Fiber PLA. It's GearBest's PLA filament brand. And it actually turned out really great. And it would look great in brass. So let's get started. All right, let's go ahead and get our sprues connected and then we'll move on to the plaster. So I just have a styrofoam little cutout. This is gonna be the main uh, sprue up here. We're gonna go ahead and attach it up top. And we're just gonna use some hot glue here. You don't need a lot. The more you put, the more you gotta burn out. Now I'm gonna try and use some of this wax filament to make some vents here. I was able to make the vents out of the wax filament, but it was a little difficult. I melted the wax and stuck it to the parts that I wanted, but they kept breaking off. Maybe next time using hot glue would have been a better idea. Now that we got all our vents on, we can take our plaster of Paris and sand mix and just paint it on there. I like to make it pretty soupy, even though a lot of it drips off. That way it seeps down into all the nooks and crannies. And this will help us avoid any bubbles later in the print and help bring out all that detail that we're looking for. So here's the model after I've painted all the plaster on it and the screws. I've set up a box here uh, that we're going to use for the main, the main mold here. And the plaster that I've painted on has dried mostly, but there's still quite a lot of moisture in it, and I like to keep it that way. I feel like it'll bond to the other plaster better when it's a little bit wet. So now comes the messy part. Now we gotta mix up a bunch of plaster and sand and stick this in this box. I like to try to keep about an inch on each of the sides because you will get cracking, and if it cracks too much, you'll get a hole and it's not good. Watch my other videos I've done. Okay, so I've removed all the cardboard from the box and it's mostly set up, but you can feel there's still a lot of moisture in here and there will be for a while. So usually what I like to do is kind of bake it at like 250 and get rid of all that moisture. You can tell because the color just changes when most of the moisture is out, at least on the surface. And then after that, we can start to do the burnout at a much higher temperature. Alright, so it's the next day. This thing has cooled off and I think it's ready to crack it open. All right, here it is. I just hosed it down, got most of the plaster off. There's still some up in the mouth and in the eye here and stuff. But here's uh, my take on it right now. It didn't turn out too bad. I was hoping some more of the detail in the beard would come out. Some of it did, but the basic shape is there. Uh, this corner of the pedestal did not fill completely. 
and there's some issues up here at the top of the hair. Likely that was a bunch of junk, like carbon from the PLA. So now I just need to get this cleaned up better, cut off all the sprues, get it all polished up, and we'll see how this guy looks up close. So here's the finished cast, and it didn't turn out half bad. I think it actually came out pretty good, considering the carbon fiber PLA that I used, it came out pretty good. There's a couple flaws here and there, but altogether, it looks really cool. If you like this video, make sure you hit like and subscribe. I got a lot of cool stuff coming up. In fact, I am doing a review on the FL Sun S resin base printer. Here's the same model printed off that. The bottom didn't come out very well, but altogether, the detail is incredible on this. I know it's hard to see in this resin type, but it's, it's really, really detailed. And in addition to that, we're going to be doing some metal casting from the resin based printer with Maker's Juice Wax Cast Resin. So we're going to be doing a review on that. They were nice enough to send me a bottle and I'm really excited about doing that. As always guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.